Hey, what's up? Go what's going on, YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another quick video here in my lawn in Central North Carolina. We just got back from um, our trip to see our in-laws in Virginia. I've gotten several uh, people here lately asking me, Mr. Ferguson, I've, I'm dealing with Bermuda in my fescue lawn. What do I do? What do I do? And it seems to be a very common topic right now. So I figured we would quickly talk about that. Um, so no uh, intro and music and all that good stuff. We're just going to jump right into it. And uh, we talked about this on the live stream. So go check that out. It's the, the video before this one. Uh, it should be uh, the recording. It was about an hour long. Um, we had Mr. Blake, Mr. Kevin, um, and we had a good time on Friday night. Uh, if you missed it, I hate that you missed it. Uh, and let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoy that, we'll do another one in October uh, and just kind of catch up. I talk about this topic in the live stream. That's why I say for more info, you know, go check that out. Maybe I mentioned something there that I won't mention in the video. I don't mean to do that, but just go check out the live stream. Uh, I believe it'll be beneficial to you. Um, but I'll, I will give you my uh, talk about warm season grass and cool season lawns, uh, the best that I know how. And you see this thing right here. Where do I point my finger? Right there in the background. Uh, I'm going to grab him in a second. Um, but it's something that we deal with. Again, if you've got fescue, if you've got ryegrass, if you've got Kentucky bluegrass, if you've got Kentucky 31, these are cool season lawns, cool season uh, grass types, right? When we're talking about Bermuda, Zoysia, St. Augustine, we're talking about warm season grass, uh, grasses that do better with lots of heat. Obviously, our fescue and our, uh, our cool season grasses prefer the cooler temperatures, right? That's why we've got a mix in North Carolina of warm season grasses and some lawns. Uh, many have Bermuda uh, sodded lawns. Uh, I am different in the fact that I have turf type tall fescue, mainly from GCI turf and from triple threat and different sources. Um, so when we start to see maybe your neighbor uh, uh, has Bermuda, but you chose to go fescue. Um, if, you're, if you're with the fescue grass, we don't have a spreading grass right uh, fescue we have to overseed each and every fall this is the time this is the time of year in North Carolina where our uh, soil temperatures begin to drop uh, closer to 70 degrees and it's time to overseed our fescue that's what overseeding is Bermuda grass you don't overseed warm season grasses we don't overseed we overseed cool season lawns because it's a clumping grass that's what fescue is it's a it's a bunch of clumps together that makes a beautiful cool season fescue lawn when we're talking about Bermuda and we have rhizomes. We have uh, a grass that is laterally spreading on the ground and weaving all over the top of the ground and it forms a Bermuda lawn that looks pretty awesome when fertilized and, uh, and, and maintained very well. It looks great. I think both lawns and their respective uh, camps look awesome. There's a guy that lives up right by me. He takes care of his lawn, he fertilizes it. It's super green. There's two lawns actually. Bermuda it looks fantastic. Um, so, uh, but, but when we start getting Bermuda in the fescue, we're, we're talking about trying to get rid of a warm season grass and a cool season lawn. There's two different ways you can go about this. One option, we'll talk about him last over here to my right, uh, maybe your left. But let me, let me go over what I shared on the live stream, which I, I believe I shared on the live stream, uh, on my bank. And if I have a picture of my bank, my strip, I'll show it to you right here. It's right beside my truck. Um, it's a strip of grass that I have to hand water. I have to, uh, you know, hand do everything. Like I don't even use the bulk sprayer when I spray it. I use the trim nozzle on the whole section. It's a very skinny but long strip of grass. Um, and that section I've dealt with Bermuda the very first one or two years. And I said, I've got to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it now. I listened to Pete and what he suggested, and that's what I did, and it worked. Well, what method was that, Mr. Ferguson? So I killed it off with weed and grass killer, Roundup, whatever choice you want to do there. Killed it off way prior to seeding, probably about um, two, two and a half weeks beforehand, uh, just to give it time to kill. Uh, if, if it doesn't kill at all and you still see green, you want to hit it with another application. Bermuda is tough to kill. But I killed off the entire strip till it was bare dirt and then reseeded, grass came up, and uh, that's it. I've not dealt with Bermuda in that strip. As of today, in 2023, probably two or two and a half years later, I still don't have Bermuda over there, knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't have Bermuda over there anymore. My neighbor has some spreading like St. Augustine or something over here that's trying to creep over in some sections, but I don't deal with Bermuda. That method worked for me in that strip. 
um, I have also, here's, and this is option two, going into option two. I've got some Bermuda on the front right quadrant that I talked about in the live stream in my lawn of my fescue. Um, th that's a bigger section. That is more difficult to cut all of that low, use weed and grass killer on all of that and kill, I would basically have to kill off most of the front lawn. I've never really done that. It may come to a point where I have to do that and start over. I don't want to. That fescue grass has gotten deep roots over the year. So I went this route. Many of you that's been here to the channel know and have seen this. Uh, this is Fusilet 2. Let me hold it up here. Hopefully this is Fusilet 2. This is, and everybody told me this when I bought this, this is the most powerful herbicide I've ever used in lawn care. I don't know that it's, I mean, obviously I have it. So as a resident, you can buy this. Uh, this is this is a product that is supposed to kill Bermuda grass, but not your fescue. That's the, that's, that's why I bought it. Um, it may be a little pricey. I don't know. I'll put that somewhere on the screen. Let me stand over here, whatever side this is. Uh, this is where I got mine. I believe at do my own.com. Um, and you see how much it looks like I barely used it. It's because I have barely used it. The first time I use this and I have the videos in the history. If you want to go back specifically and watch them, one of them has fusillate on the cover. It's like a purple or a blue background. Um, I'll try to link that below or put the cards here, but uh, I tried it in a ditch area because I wasn't sure about it. And everybody said, Mr. Ferguson, this stuff is powerful. Be careful. And I was like, okay. And I, and I looked it up and I put the very minuscule amount of uh, Fusilet 2. And I'm going to set this down now. Um, I went by the label um, and put it in the ditch and I put a little bit too much, I guess. I don't know, but it, 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 it attacked the Bermuda grass, but it also ended up killing off my fescue. You have to put Fusilet 2 down when it when Bermuda is actively growing. However, when is it actively growing? Well, that's in the summertime. That's when it's hot. Well, what doesn't do that well in the heat? Fescue, cool season lawn. So you're talking about you got to attack Bermuda when it's warm outside, but your good grass, the fescue, you're hitting it with the herbicide in the middle of the summer when it's hot. And depending on your rain situation, that you know that's adding to stress on the plant. You can see where I'm going here. My ditch area got torched, and I had to oversee that last year. With that experiment, I said, okay, this stuff is super powerful. So I lightened up my application, tried it again, went to the area on the front right quadrant of my front lawn, where I still have Bermuda today that's still there a little bit, and I applied the correct. I lowered my dosage, made sure, doubly made sure, I lowered my dosage of Fusilet 2, uh, put it down in sections and areas. I didn't blanket spray it, and I don't recommend to anybody to blanket spray Fusilet 2. Um, you want to do it towards this time when temperatures are trending down, because not only that is Bermuda is actively growing still, but your temperatures are coming down to where it may not hurt your fescue like it did mine. I did mine more at like the end of July, beginning of August. I don't know. It was still hot outside. What I saw personally is that it hurt my fescue, but it did hurt the Bermuda. It, it did target the Bermuda, but the fescue could not recover, and I killed off a lot of my fescue on accident. It just never recovered from that shot of herbicide uh, from Fusilet 2. But it, did it take care of the Bermuda? I think it did, but here I am a year later, and I'm seeing Bermuda in sections in that same area, so did it really kill it off? No, I just kind of had to buy seed and repair a part of my yard that Fusilet burned off. So. I'm not a huge fan of Fusilet 2. Now, if, if this time of year, when it's trending down to cooler temperatures, I use it, I would say go for it. Um, that is an option. So Fusilet 2 is an option for trying to kill Bermuda in a cool season lawn. There is another option out there called Pilex, I believe is the herbicide. I've never used it, but I believe it's pretty expensive. So it goes back to how much does it really bother you? Um, you can kick the can down the road for the Bermuda in a, in a fescue lawn, but eventually it will have to be dealt with. And it may come down to option one that I told you about, where you just have to skip, you just kind of take a can of grass paint or marking paint uh, in August and start marking all the Bermuda areas. And then, you know, and those, these are the areas I'm going to completely kill off with weed and grass killer. And I'm going to repair this in fall, just like I did my strip. And hopefully that will eradicate and remove the Bermuda out of your fescue lawn. Uh, that's the best, best method I've seen to work. Uh, fusillade versus cutting it low, weed and grass killer, replant fescue grass. That method worked better for me than fusillade too. 
There may be a better product out there, I don't know, but many of you are asking this, so I wanted to give that answer to all of you at one time, because I keep getting it from my old videos. How, what about Fusilade 2? What about Pilex? I've got Bermuda. How do I tackle this? How do I get rid of Bermuda creeping in my lawn? And it's a very difficult problem, but those are the two options. Weed and grass killer, cutting grass low, replant grass or you can try Fusilet 2 at lower temperatures, but the grass, the Bermuda has to be actively growing. Be very precise in your application rates, even maybe going low and doing it twice, but be cautious because it, it, if, it, if you have a warm streak, it can kill off that fescue, and now you have to turn around and plant grass in that area and get it to grow like I did last year, and by the time winter came, yes, it was fully grown in, but even in the summer, it took a long time for that area really to establish back with good grass. So it's a, it's a difficult situation is the point. So a lot of talking there. I hope I helped you. I hope I over explained it because I try to over explain things to get less questions that, oh yeah, you covered this, you covered that. So let me know your thoughts below. I'm glad I'm able to get this Monday video off to you guys. I didn't think I was going to have time to do it. So give it a thumbs up if it helps you. Bermuda and cool season lawn, it's going to be a problem. We're going to keep talking about it on the channel and uh, eventually I may have to address it in my lawn and I will uh, physically show you how I'm going to go about it when that day comes. It may come this upcoming summer. We're not dealing with it right now, but if you are, uh, now is time when it's getting cooler if you're in North Carolina or maybe up north. Now is the time to try the Fusilade 2. If you're going to do it, now is when I would do it. God bless you guys. We'll see you on Wednesday with another lawn care video from Central North Carolina. We'll update you hopefully on the, uh, the uh, church lawn project. God bless you.